Joining us now, we are honored to be joined with, uh, joined by Gunnery Sergeant and Communications and Strategy Operations Chief Shakima De Prince and Marine Corps recruiting recruiter and Sergeant P, uh, uh, Beck Chim. Beck, is that is that, is that the way right. I pronounce mm -hmm. it? Okay. All right. Um, so. I'm going to come to you first because you outrank him, or if that's if that's okay. Um, but but you've done this, and uh, my father was a Marine, so I have a very special uh, place in my heart for Marines. Um, so thank you for your service. Thank you. For your um, there is a problem with recruitment now. The Marine Corps actually made its numbers last year, but just barely. Um, the other services uh, had 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 a difficulty, but it's 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 become more of a struggle. Tell us what it means to wear that uniform, and and why, in your own words. Uh, you know, people should should serve this country in the in the in the military. Oh, that's for myself. I would definitely say that being a Marine is something that compares to nothing else. Um, there is nothing else that I feel like I could have been doing. It's my calling. If you feel like you're lost in the world, you don't know what you want to do. Being a Marine will give you a sense of purpose, camaraderie. It's a brotherhood, a sisterhood that no one else can ever say or take away from you. Mm. Honoring your country and knowing that you've served and that you're giving back to someone else. We are one of the top services. We put all our, our all into everything that we do, and with that we end up, if you do decide not to serve for the 20 years, you come out and you know that you have served your country and that your country is always gonna be indebted to you. All right, Sergeant, uh, why, should, why should people today who are, are, are struggling with whether or not they really wanna go into military service, they have a lot of pressures telling them, ah, you know, that's not something that you really wanna do. Why put on the uniform? You know, um, in this modern day society, uh, life is difficult, right? And at the same time, uh, you know, it's going to present a lot of challenges throughout your entire career, whether you go to college, uh, go into the workforce. Um, but what the Marine Corps does for you is it allows you the opportunity to push past your perceived limits and really find you know, your, your true potential. Um, you know, for the last 17, 18 years that you've been on this planet, if you feel like you miss, you're missing something, uh, you know, whether it's discipline, uh, the mental fortitude uh, to really continue on with life and really achieve all those things that you want to do within your, within your dreams. The Marine Corps is going to really build those foundations and in order to make you successful. Mm -hmm. And now at the end of the day, you have all these things to really become a better citizen, become a better American, and really serve your nation. Gunnery Sergeant DePrince, are there misconceptions about military service generally, whether it's the Marine Corps or one of the other services, that, that when somebody comes to you and they're, they're trying to decide whether or not they, they want to they wanna join, uh, that, that, you, that you dispel uh, for them? Uh, you know, misperceptions that, uh, that maybe you can talk to us about here. Yes. Um, being a woman in the Marine Corps um, is definitely different. Um, a lot of people think that you're not able to have a family, be a wife, be a mother, and that is a misconception. I've been a wife, I'm a mother, I'm able to juggle all those things while being a Marine. Um, and that Marines don't have personalities. You know, we are, <laughs> we still, I still have my same hobbies. I'm a pro bikini competitor, I'm a designer. I still stay true to the things that made me happy while being a Marine. Absolutely. Same question. Same question to you. Now, from from the perspective of a, a you know of a guy, you know, mm -hmm. and and you were talking about you know those 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 teenagers now who are thinking about you know do they want to go into service? Uh, what are some of the misperceptions that that you think, through media or other you know uh, you know other influences, have kind of gotten into their head and and, and made them out, reject it outright when when they really should be considering it. Uh, I think a lot of the misconceptions about you know service in the Marine Corps is that hey, uh, we're going to give you you know a gun and you're going to go somewhere and fight for your country and stuff like that, right? But uh, at the same time, uh, every Marine, you know, you have multiple options to really pick any type of occupation field you want. Uh, within the Marine Corps, there's 350 different jobs, uh, military occupational specialties that you can do. So if you wanted to specialize in data financial analysis, uh, work with you know mechanics, become an engineer, anything of those numbers, you can choose that. And at the end of the day, the Marine Corps is going to make you a better person, a better you know, product for uh, society. And then from there, you can really tackle on any challenges that you want in life, not only yeah, in the Marine Corps. You made a really important point, Sergeant, and that is that there are a lot of different ways to serve. Mm -hmm. And, and the, the, the military does provide you with a lot of different options, a lot of different different services, but also all of those different jobs. You have reservists, you have active duty. So there, are, it is uh, something that you can do uh, and have a career uh, outside of the military as well. And I think a lot of people don't realize that. Okay, uh, we have to leave it there, uh, but I just want to say thank you uh, for your service and God bless both of you. And thank you so much for being here.